guys, welcome back to my channel. So a video coming at you a lot sooner than normal. So I actually have some really exciting news today that I wanted to share today because it just happened last night. So this is really exciting. It's obviously about Ophelia, as you guys can see by the title. So I am in my pet room, which you wouldn't know just by looking because there's no pet shelving or anything like that. Um, you can't really see the whole pet room. All right, I got the camera propped up on some tote. Okay, my hair, guys, the hair. Oh, you like my Nickelodeon shirt? So look at my hair. It's kind of getting, this is off topic. I've been thinking about cutting it, but then I straighten it and I'm like, ooh, I really like how long it is. And then this is really off topic, but my hair is kind of taking on a life of its own. Um, okay, back to Ophelia. So I'm really excited to give you guys this update today. Like I said, this is not going to be a pet room tour or anything like that because the pet room is not done. It's not decorated. Literally all my enclosures are sitting against the walls in here. It's not really cute right now. So we're not going to be doing a pet room tour or anything like that. I don't actually know when I'm going to be doing one. Long story short, the pets may not be staying in this bedroom. So there is a chance because of some upcoming changes, we may be moving them into the other bedroom. So I'm not even going to bother decorating this one or setting it up really pretty for like a tour or anything until I know the pets are either going to be staying in here or we're gonna be moving them so anyway that's not what this video is about so I'll keep you updated on that today's video is an update on Ophelia I'm so excited to tell you guys what happened today so yesterday or last night I'm assuming because I checked on her yesterday and she was just normal hasn't eaten as you guys know Ophelia has not eaten for me in about a year and three months that's how long I've had her and she has not eaten since I got her so it's really been something that's weighed really heavily on me and it's something that I stress about and I've been thinking about and I have messaged so many of my friends fellow spider lovers and tarantula lovers about it's something I've been really stressed about I've talked to tarantula cat I've talked to Diane a reptiliatus I've talked to them about it and it's something that they keep telling me you know keep trying she may be in pre-molt like the longest pre-molt ever and so actually about a week ago I actually messaged tarantula cat about a week ago and we were trying crickets that day and I put a couple crickets in there and Ophelia just wasn't eating them like normal that's she just walks over them like she ignores that they're there it's crazy you know the cricket will like not even have any interest in her and then she has no interest in the cricket it's crazy she just shows no interest in eating and she never has in the year and three months I've had her she's never cared about food <laughs> I, don't, I don't really know what she's doing anyway last week I messaged tarantula cat because I was trying crickets again and I was like just updating her you know hey Ophelia still hasn't eaten blah 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 and she was like well let me see her so I sent her some pictures of Ophelia and she told me that she really felt like Ophelia was about to flip which means she may be doing like a web lay bed and then she'll flip on her back and molt and so uh cat was like i really feel like she's close just take the cricket out don't put it in there and, and just see what she does and give her a little more time and i was like okay so i did that and that was about a week ago and then last night i guess which was my birthday so that's kind of fun so yesterday was my birthday and it turns out that last night ophelia molted and she molted for the first time and i can't believe it so I have Ophelia's molt here. I know it looks like she's in here, but she's not. Don't worry, this is her exoskeleton. This is not her. It's so exciting. So this morning I came into my pet room like I do every morning and I come and I feed and check the animals, change water, make sure they're all okay. You know, I do this every day. And when I went over to actually feed Lemon, Ophelia's enclosure is right beside Lemon's tank. And I was feeding Lemon and then I look over and it looks like there's two tarantulas in my tarantula enclosure. And I was like, oh my gosh, it was kind of crazy. So I wanted to show you Ophelia's exoskeleton. This is so cool. I have to be really careful with it. I'm not an expert on exoskeletons. Like I don't obviously have like foam and pins, you know, where you can kind of like shape it and make it stay. So I just have it, like I kind of spread the legs out and then I just put it in this Tupperware container and I'm hoping that it dries and, you know, doesn't break or anything. But I do want to show this to you guys because this is incredible. There it is. You can see her perfect exoskeleton. Isn't that just amazing? This is like the coolest thing ever. Isn't it awesome? This is my first ever tarantula exoskeleton, so... I'm really excited about this and I'll never get rid of it because this is so cool and it's such kind of a rare thing. I mean, if you have a ton of tarantulas, maybe you've seen this a lot, but Ophelia is my only one. So this is like a kind of a crazy, amazing thing for me. Um, I've never had this happen before. 
and I just love it. So I knew what it was, but I kind of couldn't believe it this morning when I came in here. She was literally laying in her water bowl, and I have a picture of what I saw immediately because like I took a picture as soon as I saw her. Um, she was laying in her water bowl and her exoskeleton was laying beside the water bowl and that was it She never did like the webbing, you know how they'll kind of like web and lay a bed and then flip over on it and do that She didn't do any of that. She didn't web at all She just molted right beside her water dish and then got in her water dish and that was it So it's kind of crazy Really exciting. I'm really excited about this and now I want to show you guys her because she's so dark and she's so beautiful And I do have some clips of that Look how beautiful her rump is now it's not all bald. Wow. She's so beautiful. She's so dark. Wow. Wow. She's definitely moving a lot more. Yeah, she's active now. Way more. Look how dark she is, baby. Mm -hmm. I can't believe this. That's her first molt with me ever. I wonder if she'll eat now. I just came in here and she was just sitting in her water bowl soaking. For a minute, I thought there were two of them. This is crazy. All right, so here's her little enclosure. I have her little lid slid up so you can see. And then here's her new water dish, it's full. And there she is. You can see how much darker she is now. This is so crazy. But she's super dark and she's so beautiful. The phone pictures show the detail a lot better because they have flash. So you can see her here, but my phone photos, I'll insert them and you can see how gorgeous she is. She's got like little lines on her legs. She's so much darker than she normally is. Now she is an Aphonopelma SP, which is kind of like a subspecies of the Aphonopelma calcotes. She is basically an Arizona blonde, but it's kind of like a different locale, so to speak. So that is the type of tarantula that she is. So she is going to lighten back up. I'm sure she'll be more blonde or brown um, later, but obviously she's newly molted. So she's a lot darker and I just, I'm obsessed. I just love her so much and I really hope that she eats soon and I just cannot wait for her to, you know, get lively again. See, she's kind of moving there. I love her. She's been so calm and docile and, you know, very inactive since I got her. So it's definitely exciting that she's molted. And I don't know, I'm just so excited for her to eat. I just want her to eat so badly because I do love her. And obviously I want her to thrive. She's about five years old now per what I was told. So she's about five. And I'm just excited. I want her to eat. So I really wanted to share this with you guys because I'm pretty excited about it. So you guys can see what she looks like now. Um, she's really dark. Her rump is really small. Obviously, she hasn't eaten in a year and three months. I am going to wait about a week to two weeks before I do try to feed her. Make sure that her fangs harden and um, relax after that molt. And make sure her fangs harden up and everything before I try to feed her. I'm going to wait a week or two. And I asked Kat and Reptiliatus about it today. And they both agreed. They're like, yeah, just wait a week or two and then try to feed her. They said she should be pretty hungry. So fingers crossed. I'll film it. I'm so excited. I hope that she eats for me in a week or two. That'll be the the first time ever but I can't imagine that she wouldn't now that she's molted she should hopefully get that appetite back I'm really really hopeful I also went on and cleaned out and filled up her water dish so she's got clean fresh water because it is really important to keep them hydrated um, after that molt so obviously I'm doing that but yeah I'm really excited I can't believe that she finally molted I th kind of thought I was going crazy when I came in here and I saw her it looked like there were two tarantulas in my thing and then I actually was like wait which one is her you know like I it was weird. It's just the weirdest thing. I can't really describe it, which I've never experienced this before. So that was my first time ever experiencing seeing my tarantula molt. And it looks like you have two whole tarantulas. And then she also didn't web the bed and she didn't flip over. It was like she did it, I guess, on her abdomen. So it was really interesting. It's just my first experience with that. But, but yeah, I will keep you guys updated and I hope that she eats soon. I'm going to try in a couple weeks, like I said, and then we'll probably try crickets again. Um, I do have dubias and mealworms, but I think we're going to try crickets since I know that she's eaten them before. So this is actually my mealworms, which I bred. Um, I kind of accidentally bred these, but they're thriving and they're doing super, super well. And you can see there's beetles in there too. You can see all the mealworms there. 
Yeah. So I've tried to feed her these. She won't take them. Um, obviously, she never has. Um, but I do have them. I do breed them. And then my dubias have bred a lot. And um, I haven't had a colony crash or anything. They're doing great. I've got a ton of dubia roaches. So I've been feeding these and the dubias to Bodie every once in a while. He loves them. He really loves the dubias. And I'll just feed him like one small one. A lot of my dubias are huge now because I've had them for over a year. So they're like really big and I don't have anything that can eat them. But um, yeah, I have a bunch of really big dubia roaches. They're kind of like a pet now, I guess, because like sometimes I'll feed off the babies, you know, but I don't feed them the lemon. I don't know. I'm really careful with lemon. I don't feed lemon the dubia roaches. I just kind of have this weird thing about her. I'm really protective of lemon. I don't want to give her anything that could possibly like bite her, attack her, or eat her from the inside out. I have these weird paranoia is about uh, about her because so many people have lost their pac-man frogs and i've had lemon for over four years i got her october the 8th of 2017 so i've had her a really long time and i'm super paranoid about anything happening to her so i keep her diet very clean she gets uh, reptivite powder on worms or crickets and that's it that's all i feed her um, i don't even feed her the mealworms or superworms or anything like that because I don't know, I just feel like they're kind of feisty and I'm sure she'd be fine, but I don't take any chances. I just keep her diet very simple because she's done great with it and that's that. So, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this Ophelia update. I'm probably rambling. Um, I'm sure you guys are wondering when more videos are coming. I'm so excited to do more videos. I have a barn tour coming up. Um, I really want to do a farm tour where I take you guys around the property. Maybe we'll go in the woods. Uh, we're going to be getting the four-wheeler in the next couple months. But it's so cold right now. Like, I can't even explain to you guys how miserable it is with it being so cold and everything is dead outside. So, nothing looks pretty. Nothing is green. And it's so cold. So, it really is kind of miserable out there. But I have exciting news. We will be getting chickens pretty soon. I, have, I should do like a whole update video about what's been going on. And I know I'm rambling, but I feel like I have so much to say and I miss filming and I miss you guys, but things have just been so hectic with the move and um, everything. And we've only been here three weeks and I'm not even finished unpacking and I haven't got the pet room finished because I want to do a pet room tour, but we might be moving it. So it's going to be probably moved in the other room. And then we are going to be getting a four wheeler, but we're waiting for it to get warmer before we bring the four wheeler here. It's at my mom's right now and we're waiting for it to get warmer. And then I can take you guys to the barn to do a barn tour. I have so much to film. I have so much to do. There's so much, but it's really exciting. And yeah, so if you guys want any more updates, also go on my Instagram because I'm on there all the time. And I actually answered a bunch of farm questions on there today. Um, today's the 24th. So I answered a bunch of stuff on there. If you want to go on my Instagram, it's littlebody24. Yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this Ophelia update. I will keep you guys updated on if she eats, but at least we know that she was in an extremely long pre-molt a crazy long pre-molt that literally lasted a year and three months and she has not eaten and now she's molted. So hopefully she will. Very exciting. And stay tuned for more videos. Don't forget to subscribe down below and hit the notification bell so you guys won't miss any of my future videos. We are going to be vlogging. I've got a barn tour coming up, a farm tour coming up. Once I move the pet room or figure out if they're staying in here and then get it organized or whatever, we're going to be doing a pet room tour. I'm also going to be doing chickens. I'm going to be getting some chickens really soon. Uh, but as the weather warms up, expect to see a lot more videos because we have a lot to do and it's really exciting. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you are still here, thank you so much for watching and listening to me ramble. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you guys very soon. Be kind. Bye.